Good afternoon and welcome to another Happy Paws Sunday afternoon chat. We've been away for the last two weeks, but I'm so pleased we're back and we've got some very special guests for us uh, to join us today. But before I introduce our guests, I'd like to ask everyone to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're growing, but we want to grow even more. And also remind you that we started our Sunday afternoon chats in support of our 10th anniversary legacy appeal and if you would like to donate to our appeal i'll leave the links in the in the box below so i would now like to welcome our very special guests today roy dolly and joe dolly is the golden retriever isn't she yes yes Welcome to the chat and thank you so much for um, allowing us to invade your privacy this morning. I'm, re I'm really pleased that you could join us. I had the pleasure of meeting the three of you two weeks ago at the Happy Pause Walk and I said to you, please, please, please do a chat. And I'm so grateful to you for letting us do this with you. Welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome, Dominic. Yeah. Hi. Um, now, I wanted yeah. to ask you, because Dolly is a very, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dolly is very, very special um, to Happy Paws, to you as well, but to a Happy Paws, because how long have you had Dolly in your lives? So Dolly, Dolly came into our lives in 2015, in January. So she was one of Lisa and Happy Puppy Paws early adoptees. That's just so, amazing. Yeah, so she's about, we think, uh, Lisa thinks that she was about three when 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 they rescued her, so she's probably about thirteen now. So um, that's why I think she, well she's special anyway. But you know we're celebrating our tenth anniversary, and mm. she's one of the first dogs. Yeah, we believe so. Yeah, so she came from Bulgaria, unlike I think a lot of a lot of the dogs now are from from Turkey. Um, so yeah, she's a really special girl to us. Yeah. And did you know then her backstory, or was she not, just found on the really. street? She yeah, was the... on the street, though. Yeah, she? okay. Yeah, we believe she was on the street. They probably threw her out, you know, and uh, and then she she had a sort of a foster home in Bulgaria for a little bit, and then um, then she just Lisa in those days Lisa actually brought her to us herself. She oh, was wow. actually out out doing something. She was doing some training for a first responder, and um, so yeah, I was I was. A, Lisa turned up one generally sort of snowy day with with Dolly, and she walked around the corner. I went, "Wow!" And uh, she's been in our lives ever since then, and really and brightened what, brightened our lives up a lot. Yeah. And was it instant? Was the love instant? It was, yeah. And um, she was like, I think naturally she was very timid when we first got her. So um, she had a bed in the kitchen in those days, and. Um, we were sitting around in the evenings and we'd, we'd sort of try and get her in, but she wouldn't. And then probably after a few days, she sort of peeped her little head around the corner and then she ran back to her bed. And then slowly she, she's now got her paws well and truly under the, <laughs> under well, the, under the table. After 10 years, one would imagine. Yeah. So, <laughs> how how um, do you think it took, took her to actually settle in your home? Um, <clears throat> I would say months, probably. Yeah. Yeah, a, a good few so. months. Yeah, because she was because she'd come over in a van, and um, <clears throat> with a previous dog, he he got she, he had gone to a play group that a guy runs around. Here. He comes and picks them up. They go off for a couple of hours, with, and there's other dogs, so she could socialize. And then you know they they bring her back, and. So the first time she went there, because he he started sort of probably she probably we probably had her about three weeks or a month or anyway however long, and um, the first time she was very very nervous about getting in this bag because she obviously thought she was going somewhere else you know, but she absolutely loves him now. My dear has been nearly ten years. Yeah, yes, we have to sort of she old. Oh, Absolutely loves it and goes off with him a couple of times a week, and it's been really good for her, really good for her, you know. I think, yeah, socialising. I think if, if the dog hasn't potentially been socialised, trying to organise a sort of a socialisation in a sort of a controlled way is, is good because, um, you know, like humans, it's good for dogs to socialise and learn to socialise. Um, so, yeah, that's maybe one of the things that would we recommend, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what's he always good with other dogs? 
Uh, no, that's, that's I think because of her history, she's, she's she uh, she's not great. She's she wasn't great with social. She is now. She's fine now. Yeah. But when when we first had her, then she was um, we had to be careful because she just didn't know. I guess because it was a competition, probably on the streets for stuff, you know, for food and things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Just I think you just have to understand your dog and what, yeah. what what you know um just to take that into account so it's not yeah. manageable but you just need to understand yeah. it a bit and think about things i think we, we no. did have to keep her on a lead for oh quite a few years because she'd just go and we live on a country lane and in the country that was another reason for her going to her play group because we didn't always meet other dogs um but i mean she's you know she <laughs> she loves pheasants she loves anything <laughs> she can chase. And she's had a few in her time. <laughs> yeah. 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 In yeah. fact, it was quite funny. The other, uh, last summer, we thought, well, she's not going to catch anything now, but a poor pigeon, I think, who was ill, Dolly found it in the garden. And she walked around the corner with this pigeon in her mouth. And then we said, drop that, Dolly. And it was like she pretended that she hadn't actually done it. And there was all these feathers around her yeah. face. So. Spit them out. <laughs> So, she is a retriever. She is yeah, a very tenacious. Right. She's very yeah, tenacious. She's very tenacious, but you know that's all part of her character. And she was on a shed roof once. I found she'd climbed up some logs and was on a shed roof about six, seven foot off the ground when she was a younger girl. So yeah. Um, but oh now my she, goodness! Yeah. <laughs> but she looks like an angel. She does. <laughs> I mean, she's lovely with the children, the grandchildren. Oh, she's she's, she's absolutely with people. She she's absolutely, people. She's loves, absolutely people. loves people. Yeah. And she people love people. her. They she really do, you know. Um, well, she's a, very, very... she's a very special dog, isn't she? she Do is. Dolly is in her, in her elder years now, <laughs> and she's got some special needs now, hasn't she? She has. She has, Dolly, yeah. So um, as she got older, her... I think naturally because of they wouldn't have done hips and elbows in those days so um, um she started to, to develop some arthritis sort of probably a couple of years ago now yeah. still probably she was still about 11 so not too bad um so now we have sort of a physio comes around a special dog physio um uh and she, she had we have her every month uh she's on some arthritis drugs as well but she's as you'll see in the video at the end you know she's still very very mobile for age um she's developed some cataracts as well um so we have to sort of be careful with that but she's uh it hasn't stopped her at all to be honest no. she's still but she is she is actually blind now but it hasn't stopped she's she's a tough old bird i tell you <laughs> I've, 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 when you mentioned the video we've got a lovely video of of dolly playing and i think you can just see how gentle she is she just seems like a gentle soul Oh, she, she is. is. She's very she gentle. Is. Yeah. She's very gentle. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's really lovely. So um, I wanted to ask you about um, Happy Paws. Um, you said 10 years ago um, and we, she was rescued from Bulgaria. Where, what made you rescue a dog, adopt a rescue dog? What Can you remember what you were thinking back then? Yeah, well, we've had, so we had a rescue dog um, previously, mm. uh, quite a big dog, an otter hound. Um, so we, we had rescued before, and then we, we, we actually had a puppy, uh, an otter hound. But unfortunately, that didn't work out because of um, he was basically aggressive. Uh, we think it's to do with the gene pool for otter hounds is very. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, she had to go back to the he had to go back to the breeder because um, he he attacked basically Joe and myself. And yeah. um, so then we we paused for six months, and then we thought, well. Let's try again. And then we, we thought about the breeds and we thought, well, as a child, I'd had a retriever. And it just re round and thought retrievers are just typically as, as such gentler souls. And they're, they're sort of, um, we thought that would fit into our sort of what we wanted. And then um, Joe was looking on the web and he found, yeah, he right. found Dolly. And then I rang up Lisa and Lisa came round and that was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> and would you recommend it? Would you recommend adoption? Yes. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think having, you, you know, certainly for us, the puppy didn't work out. And no. I think um, so for us, adoption was, was really good. And both of our adoptees have really worked out. Our previous 
Otter Hound and Dolly have been yeah have been really good. So and also uh, Dolly helped us because unfortunately the puppy. I mean, he he obviously had a problem, um, but you never knew when he was going to attack, and he was a big boy. And it, it sort of scared us. And it took Dolly for us to then not be, not worry about, you know, being like this or anything else because, you know, it, it, so she helped us as well. She did, yeah. She really did. They always it, do, don't they? They okay. really do. Yeah. They really do. I think I, I saw a dog trainer is you, you get the dog you need, not necessarily the dog you want, but you get the dog you need. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we didn't know what, you know, all dogs are different. So, even retrievers but dolly's just um dolly's re she's really been great for us yeah so i couldn't believe when i met the three of you um two weeks ago there was so much noise there were so many dogs there were so yeah. many people and she was so calm i know yeah she's <laughs> as she's got older i think she has calmed down a lot and it doesn't things just don't seem <clears> to, <throat> to, to stress her anymore i think she's got to point in life where she goes well i'm just happy and I'll just go with the flow. She know. I think. I think. Hopefully, she knows that we're there for her. You know, we're not going to let anything happen to her. So. She's had a lot of love over the last ten years, yeah. hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you can tell. You can tell. I mean, we were slightly worried that with all the dogs and the noise and everything else, and this, especially with her being blind, it wasn't so much. You know, we knew she'd be okay, but she was amazing. You know, <laughs> it was almost like she knew that other retrievers there and went, yeah, well, yeah. Hey, she's mainly hey, retrievers. <laughs> retrievers are chilled, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she really seemed to enjoy it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. you could see yeah. that. You could really yeah. see that. Um, and so if you had to give somebody some advice about adopting a dog, um, either from Happy Paws or another rescue, do you have a piece of advice you would share, like to share with people? Um, I, th I think it's probably... Patience. Patience, yeah. Give um, them time. Give them time. Um, and try and to love, understand. obviously, because, you know, they're, they're being rescued, so they've been kicked out some way or not, for whatever reason. But, you know, they've obviously been in a home at some point, and sometimes it's a good home, and they just... But then, a bit like us, you know, if, we, if things change in our life, you just need a bit of time. And I think maybe understand the dog and turn yourself around and think, why is the dog maybe behaving like that and see if you can maybe simplistically put your put your head in the dog's mind and go well you know think about how you might might want things adapted for yourself you know so, so, so time patience and love yes, yes. that sounds very Boat. good to me uh, and walks, <laughs> and walks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Boat yeah. and walks. Walking in the socialisation and just yeah. you know, building that Love. trust is so important, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So he's smiling. <laughs> she's sm she is smiling and she's she's got the kindest face. And and I fell in love with her the minute I saw her. Um and it, she comes through the screen like that as well. And it's she's such a special girl. And thank you so much for sharing oh, no, your welcome. story with you're us. We're, we're so, so grateful. Um, so if anybody would like to support our work, um, please consider giving a donation to our 10th anniversary appeal so we can save more dogs like Dolly and give them over 10 years with a family, which is <laughs> Just remarkable, absolutely remarkable. A golden Retriever getting to 13 is remarkable, but a, a rescue dog is even more so. Um, and she's very special to us, as are you. And we are so grateful for you joining us, and we are so grateful to everybody for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, I hope to be back next week. Um, I will see if I can find another family to join me. Thank you so much, Roy and Joe and Dolly. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Thank bye. you. Bye, bye everyone. <laughs> we're sort of we're, bye so, bye. we're so pleased we could tell a story as well, and uh, it's a really good charity. So um, if you'd have a few pennies, then please please do help. Oh, so. thank you, thank you, and don't forget to watch the video of of Dolly playing, um, which will come just after our okay. recording stops. Thank you, everyone. Have a, have a good Sunday, everyone. Take yeah. care. Bye bye. Bye.
Oli. Doli. 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 Doli.